Hello, welcome to another video from the Hair Replacement Stylist. Uh, today I want to show you our new hair ready to wear service. Um, basically, uh, I can cut systems in now without actually you coming to see me. Um, this one here, this is a client system. It's a nice European hair system, uh, four lace. Uh, and I'm cutting it, as you can see, on the mannequin. Um, what this client in particular has done is sent me some photographs um, of the way he wants his hair, uh, the lengths, etc. And uh, just from photographs, it's totally possible for me uh, to cut it in exactly how he wants it. Um, and I'll be sending this to him in a few days' time. Um, I raise all the hair haircuts. Uh, you get much more texture um, in, the, in the style by doing this. I very, very rarely use scissors. I'm just in on the uh, crown area, different angle for you. If you can zoom in there, you can see all the knots are bleached. Um, which is really essential for, for a lace system. Uh, incidentally, if you did want to get a system on order, all I would need to do, just send me your uh, template or even an old system with some fresh hair samples and I can get that on order for you. And as I said, with our new service, I can get it all cut in and ready for you. This particular style, it needs to be about two inches, two and a half inches on top. So it's just really getting it down to a manageable length at the moment. But you can just see, I mean, the, the knotting on this, it's, it's what, what they call freestyle knotting. So it goes in any direction at all. It moves just like real hair. So it won't look like a stiff 2P on your head or anything like that. This one's actually quite cool because as well as this base colour, I've got some um, a few blonde highlights put through the middle of it. What I tend to do with highlights is it's a good idea to around where it um, blends to his own natural hair, I'll keep just a base colour, and then I'll just put the highlights through the top area. And that way, when the hair starts to grow out around the sides and back, it doesn't look like it's mismatched or anything like that. It still stays nice and blended. But using the razor, you get these lovely sort of daggered ed edges, which, which really, when you've got a bit of product in it, it really, really makes it look far better. With when you're using scissors, you get a lot of blunt scissor lines all, all around the system, and it's just not as uh, not as effective, really. But how I cut systems in is basically I do all the perimeters first of all, then I work through through from the crown all the way forward and then I'll do the fringe right at the end. Right, so we've uh, we've done, we've got to this stage now, I've done all the back, um, the crown area, all around the perimeters, that's all done. We've just got this centre area to do now and of course the fringe. Um, Incidentally, the cost of, um, of a European system, hair like this, they start at £300. Um, Indian hair is about 270 and there's about £25 shipping uh, to go on top of that as well. If you wanted me to cut in the system like I'm doing right now and then send it to you, all ready to wear, then I charge a one-off £50 extra for that. Um, if you did want to come all the way to my salon then and have, have it done that way, in person then that would cost um, 80 because obviously you've got to fit the system as well onto your head but again using the razor for the fringe I must apologize for the dirty face that my uh, my dolly has actually it's just simply because I, I use her to colour systems as well, so she's got the uh, remnants of uh, colour tarnish in her face, but never mind. She's a loyal worker. Right, so I'm just going to drop another layer down. This one's uh, medium density as well, this system. Uh, we can go for lighter densities, uh, light medium, extra light even. 
Uh, depends really on, on, on your density of your hair around the sides and back as to what, what, what the correct density would be to go for. Okay, just build out the layers. So yeah, as I said, I just need a template. Um, sort of looks something like this. You can actually, these are really quite easy to make actually. So if you haven't got an old system to send me, it's just really a case of getting some uh, clean film, putting a sheet of it over your head, yeah? And you can sort of tie it under your chin so it's kind of skin tight. Then just build up layers and layers of sellotape to, uh, to bring that kind of hard shell. Send that to me with some samples and that's all I need to get one on order. Hi, welcome back. Uh, we've now got the finished hairstyle. Um, I'll just comb through it a little bit to show you the uh, the detail as much as I can actually without it going out of focus. Um, you can see the really blonde highlights really coming through now. It's really made a nice effect. And like I said, I've just put the blonde uh, through the crown area, through the middle, and I've kept the perimeters um, like the dark base color. But that's got a nice bit of sort of length on there to have a bit of variety with the style. Um, I mean, the guy can spike it if he so wishes. It's It's got enough kind of uh, length to kind of brush this way, to brush that way. Like I said before, it's got freestyle knotting, so it's um, it's a real nice, uh, real nice finish. I'm quite pleased with that. So I will send that off to him. And like I said, if you wanted me to cut your system in, just go to the website is the best idea. Um, it's the hair replacement stylist.co.uk. Um, just go to the contacts page and you can find out all about it on there. Um, incidentally, if you wanted to do uh, a Skype consultation, uh, just go to the underscore HR underscore stylist. Uh, you can find me on Skype and we can arrange a Skype consultation if you like. I can go through in a little bit more detail, the uh, bonding methods and the various options when it comes to systems, what type of bases, because it's not always a, a, this actual one is a lace base, but you, you know, you might want a poly base or a, or a silicone base, or one of the old fashioned uh, trico bases, but they're kind of a little bit outdated now. But like I said, this was a, before, this is a medium density. Um, so, yeah, very good.